Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and I'm gonna show you how you can add multiple languages onto your keyboard. Once you add multiple languages to your keyboard, it's gonna work on all your keyboards. Doesn't matter if you're using the keyboard for the browser, for your email, for your messaging apps, for WhatsApp, your Facebook Messenger. It's all gonna have multiple languages and I'll show you also how to delete a language as well. Now, first thing I wanna note is I don't have any languages installed on my keyboard right now. I only have English. Once we add another, at least two languages, there's gonna be like a little arrow on the left-hand side and right-hand side of the space bar, and then we'll be able to switch between two. So let's go ahead and add a language here. Top right-hand corner, let's slide down. Let's go into your settings, tap on the gear icon, and then from here, we want to go to general management, and then we wanna to go to language and input, and then from here, under keyboards, we wanna to go to on-screen keyboard. They used to call this virtual keyboard, but virtual keyboard or on-screen keyboard is the same thing, okay? So tap on on-screen keyboard, and then we're gonna tap on Samsung keyboard here, and then we're gonna tap on languages and types, right there. And you can see the only language I have installed on a keyboard currently is English. Now we wanna go ahead and tap on manage input languages, tap on that. Now you can see the pre-downloaded languages I already have on here, okay? This is by default here. Now, if you wanna go ahead and download additional languages, what you have to do is in the top right-hand corner, now watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and download a tons of other languages. The three dots, top right-hand corner, tap on that, and then we're gonna tap on check for updates. And then I'm gonna go ahead and update it and watch it populate with, I don't know, probably like 30 to 40. Oh wow, that was super quick. Okay, so now other available languages. I mean, look at this, I got tons of other languages on here as well. Most of them, I have no idea what it even is. Anyways, let's go ahead and download another language here, okay? So you see we already have some uh, download languages up here. Let's just go add another one. So we'll go ahead and download it right now. And we'll just download Spanish here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the down arrow. I'm gonna wait for this download. Once this downloads and it's downloaded, it's gonna, it's gonna show up in here under downloaded languages. So give it a second here. Okay, so it shows up here, Spanish shows up here, and it's already toggled on. Okay, so I'll leave Spanish on, and let's go ahead and toggle another language on here. I'll go ahead and toggle, uh, let's do uh, Vietnamese here. So I got three languages on here now. So if I go back to any keyboard here, I'll just go into my browser. And now we can see that we have these little arrows. You, you see where it says English here? And there's an arrow on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So now I can switch between languages. There's Vietnamese right there. If I want to switch to Spanish, there it is right there. So pretty simple, Vietnamese, back to English. Now, if you want to go ahead and remove one of the languages, you simply go back into your settings again, and then we'll go under general management, language and input, on-screen keyboard, or again, yours may say virtual keyboard, Samsung keyboard, languages and types, so here's the current three languages I have installed right now. If I want to delete one of them, top right-hand corner, those three dots, tap on that, then tap on remove, and then go ahead and remove the one that you want. I'll remove the uh, Vietnamese and the uh, Spanish. Click on remove, and now it's only English is on my keyboard. So if I go back to any keyboard, only English is gonna show up, and I don't have those three dots here because I know the only language I have installed on this Keyboard is English now, so I can't swipe left and right. There's no arrow there. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple to do. I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.